water, vital to life, and one of the world's most precious resources. But climate change and temperature rise is affecting supply and placing extra stresses on society as droughts and floods become more frequent. And water scarcity is a global problem that ultimately threatens food security and health. Climate change will influence the hydrological cycle. We expect in future to have uh, wetter areas are probably going to get wetter, drier areas are going to get drier, as, uh, and it's at its most basic. And our big concern is um, how this may affect uh, access to safe water, how it may affect food security in the future. And it's how governments respond to this and how people respond to this and their capacity to respond to these changes that will really determine the severity of what we predict of water scarcity into the future. Current predictions vary, but scientists believe that within the next century, as temperatures increase, the two billion people already living with scarce water supplies is set to triple. How nations respond will make a huge difference to their future. The biggest concern surrounds the poorer countries and their ability to cope with less water and more extremes of temperature and weather. It's the countries that are responsible, primarily, the primary emitters of greenhouse gases that should take some responsibility because those that are going to be affected first and foremost from climate change are not the wealthy countries. If you look at the Arctic, if you look at areas in the tropics, these are the people who in many cases are the, uh, uh, if you look at uh, the, um, uh, Bangladesh, uh, the Maldives, um, uh, areas in southern Africa, these are areas that are going to be affected first and foremost, and particularly the Arctic, uh, the Arctic communities as well. Water supply and rainfall is set to become more sporadic. In hotter areas like Africa, groundwater stores will decrease and drought will become commonplace. Lowland and coastal areas such as Bangladesh will be at more risk to flooding and extreme weather events will become more common. Countries must work together to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and put systems in place to cope. On a global scale, the United Kingdom, because of our leading science, should be going out there and helping the rest of the world to plan for the future. Because what we can do is use our climate models and our experience to say to particular countries what their um, problem is going to be in the future. Whether it's going to be too much water, too little water, or extreme rainfall events or storms. And what we can do is actually allow them to have that prediction for the future so they can actually proof their country against the extremes of climate change. Adaptation and mitigation are essential as the impact of a water crisis depends largely on how well each country deals with too little or too much water in the future.